My name is Nick Willey. I'm a business rep with the Carpenters Union here in Rochester. And uh, the group that I identify with would be tradespeople. I've learned quite a bit. I've learned that there are a good majority of BIPOC people that want to be involved in the trades. Uh, prior to this, I wasn't, you know, you don't see them very often or hear from them very often, or at least from their communities. And being involved in this has been eye-opening and uh, enlightening and encouraging. The assumption I had was there wasn't very many women or even BIPOC women seeking you know, careers in, in the building trades. I've, I've learned the opposite of that and uh, it's, it's nice to see because we, we, we need them within the trades and uh, our contractors want to employ them and it's good to find a place to meet and talk about it and, and figure out a way to implement a strategy and implement a way to have more involvement from the BIPOC population and uh, hope to get there. Taking the time to, to put together a a process and a program that has the, the mentors on both sides, right? The ones in the field, the ones uh, on the outside, I guess we'd call them, or the, it's also the observers, right? So those folks are what I think is gonna make a big difference in this. And uh, the ideas we talked about in the room, uh, we're, we're good. And I think that without getting together and putting together a process and a plan, hard to do something without a plan, a blueprint, right? And I think getting together and putting together a good blueprint and revising it, uh, and now it's just time to, to work the plan. Um, I think the contractors of Rochester are ready for this. Look forward to uh, the work and what it brings.